Holly knows how to haul. Never thought she'd be doing something like this. No, never, never, not at all. But I'm so glad that I did. I never would have dreamed ever doing anything like this. Teamed up with her husband, Matt, she just couldn't resist. I, re I asked her one time if she'd ever want to drive, and previous years she said, oh, no way, there's no way. Well, then she finally said, yeah, you know, I might make, you know, give it a try. Now about to put their team and their turbo to the test as we take you on their wild ride as they take us to the heart of their story. So we first met Holly and Matt Paduska with the Bad Company Racing Team a couple of years ago. They showed us their truck and talked about the sport they love. Since then, they have been on a tear, pulling their way to victory after victory. So we check out their new look as they take us inside their world of truck and tractor pulls. Hold on. Raised on a farm in Solon, Iowa, living life with her own family now on her own farm, truck and tractor pulling wasn't on Holly's radar until her husband Matt decided to try it a few years ago. It's a mixture between uh, being able to build something, you know, power, chassis, and then being able to see results, and then also the atmosphere, the type of people. It's just kind of a special type of people that get into this, you know, and everybody's all friends at the end of the day. They help each other out, so the environment's really important to me too. He was soon all in, and Holly was right there with him. And then over the years, he's been teaching me more and more about everything with the engine, all of it. And then um, last year was really my full year of pulling, so um, it went great, and now I'm hooked. As a young girl, did you ever think that you might end up doing something like this? No, never, never, not at all. But I'm so glad that I did. I never would have dreamed ever doing anything like this. I've gone to a few pulls to watch growing up, but um, yeah, really got hooked after he kind of started teaching me things. There's a lot to it that I never thought of and I don't think a lot of people know about and it's pretty fun and really interesting. What is your favorite part of all this? Um, I just love driving it. I just, I mean, being in the truck at the line, you know, you have all that stuff going on. It's just really exciting and um, you're in control of the truck. It's something that you control the whole thing with and so, that's my favorite part, just the very, just pulling, I guess, being that, out there. You get that nervous energy as, as you're That excitement, just yeah, the yeah. Adre adrenaline rush, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely get that, because um, it all happens so fast, it's only like 30 seconds, but um, it's really exciting. Yeah. But it pulls you back and makes you want to do it more and more. Exactly, yes, yep. Right when I get done, I'm ready to go again. Now they trade off on who gets to be behind the wheel at each event. She was, I guess, the biggest person I knew that was into it, you know, and Finally, I, re I asked her one time if she'd ever want to drive, and previous years she said, oh, no way, there's no way. Well, then she finally said, yeah, you know, I might make, you know, give it a try. So she did it once, did an amazing job, got first place her first time, and then the next year, then she, she pulled a lot more, and kind of now it's, now it's back and forth between the two of us. So now you have to decide who gets to drive and what event, huh? Yep, yep, yep. We kind of look at the schedule, and we just kind of figure out who's going to drive what. How much fun is this, being able to do this with your wife? The sport you love so much with the person closest to you. You know, it's it's actually you know it's really really good because of the fact that, you know, if she didn't get into it, well, it'd make it pretty hard for me to want to go to a lot of these pulls. She actually gets into it more than I do. She wants to go to more events than I do. I got to test that competitive spirit. So, who would win if they competed against each other? It would be fun some year though to have two trucks and kind of see you know have a little battle there, but. Um, Maybe down the road we'll have something like that, but no, we're not too competitive with each other. We were actually fortunate enough last year, this will probably never happen again, but last year when we pulled um, with our local organization here, ECI, um, we both pulled um, maybe about hmm, 10, 14 times and we went undefeated, so that was really exciting. So Team Bad Company is prepped and ready to go. A quick peek under the hood before they pull into position. What are we looking at? Okay, so we have, um, so our class is limited to a three inch turbo. So the, we got the turbo there. Um, we have water, water to air. 
and that um, cools down the air before it gets into the engine. It's a mechanical engine. And how big is this if you go horsepower wise? Um, our class is usually seeing probably like 1300 and up for horsepower. Um, it kind of varies, but you know, just because you have the most amount of horsepower doesn't mean that you're going to win. You got to be able to drive it too, so it makes it a lot of fun. What kind of car do you drive when you get groceries? And is it different than driving this? <laughs> different than <laughs> driving this, but it's a, um, we got a diesel car, Volkswagen diesel Passat. So all of our <laughs> vehicles are diesel. So. It's a little different though when you press on the gas for that. <laughs> a little different, this. yeah. <laughs> Inside the cab, it's obvious this is no ordinary beast. We have the hand throttle, so um, no foot throttle, hand throttle, and then on the hand throttle we have the steering, a steering button, so we have hydraulic steering, so I won't be able to steer unless I push that button. We use the clutch um, to come out of the hole with, and then the hand throttle. So enough talking with me, they got work to do. As they grow in the sport and their families grow too, Matt's looking ahead beyond the next race. We try and bring our daughter to as many as we can. It's just, it's hard on her. She's only two. So hopefully when she gets older, you know, she'll go to a lot more and we'll see if we can get her in the seat before she hits 10. Until then, they'll take turns behind the wheel as Team Bad Company just keeps on trucking. And if you like this story, please share with a friend. Help us grow so we can keep this beast on track. This is the heart of the story with Gary Metivier.